All right, how's it going, y'all? This video is gonna be on how to set up port forwarding on your Unified Dream Machine Pro or your Unified Dream Machine, which both have the same operating system, essentially. All right, so first off, what is port forwarding? Port forwarding essentially creates a path through your router to an IP address. So that way services that are outside of your local network, generally things on the internet, will be able to connect to services on your local network. So the way that this generally works and why it's important is the service gets the IP address of your router. This is because you probably don't have more than one IP address assigned to your internet connection. And so if they only had the IP address of your router, they would have no idea where to go once they got through it. So port forwarding acts as a middleman. Basically the service will get an IP address and a port number. Then it'll use the IP address to get to your router and then it will show the router what port it is. And your router will either block the connection or it will forward it on to a specified device. So say I wanted to run a web server at my house. I would open up ports 80 on my router and have them forward to the device that was running the web server. That way if anybody connected to my home's IP address, they would be sent to the web server because web traffic defaults to ports 80 and 443 for SSL. And so that's how it works. Now there is risk to this. Opening up ports on your router means that things from the internet can start communicating with things locally on your network. And so you really need to make sure that whatever you're opening up is designed to be opening up. You should never open up things like an SMB server because they're just not hardened and not ready to be hit on the internet. They're designed to be behind firewalls secured. If you would like to do these services, you need to set up a VPN and that way you're able to securely connect through the VPN's protocol. And I have a video on how to set that up on a dream machine. Basically the VPN will allow you to securely connect back to everything on your local network. And you don't have to worry because it's over a VPN connection. People would first have to break through the VPN, which is incredibly difficult. They're very secure. And then you can get to less secure apps behind it. All right, so now that we've gone over what port forwarding is, let's go over how to set it up on a Unified Dream Machine Pro. So right here, I've just gone ahead and logged into my UDM Pro and we can see all the different options we've got. And I'm gonna go into network. And we're just going to go down into settings right here. And under gateway, we've got port forwarding right here. And now it's incredibly easy. You can see the services that are currently active. You can see what ports they are. You can see which ones are enabled and you can even start blocking things. So now let's create a new one. We just go down here to create port forwarding rule and we now give it a name. And we're going to enable it and we'll say from anywhere or we can also limit it. So say you only wanted people who were at 3.15.3.3.45. Say you've got a friend who has a static IP address and that's what his internet connection is. You can say only he is allowed to connect. You can also do things like IP tables and things like that. But we're just gonna go ahead and say anywhere. And now you say the port. We'll do 80. And so this is the port on your router. So anybody who types in port 80 will go to whatever IP address you set here and you choose the forwarded port as well. So say my Synology, which is at 10.0.1.40 was listening on port 443. I could have people connect through port 80 and change this to 443 if I wanted to. But I'm just gonna keep it 8080. And for protocol, you select what protocol you need, UDP, TCP, or both. And you can also log it. And now I'm just going to click apply. Now there's a route on the internet. Someone just has to type in the IP address of my router and port 80, and they will be brought to port 80 of my Synology. All right, well, that's all there is to it. You can now go in and edit it and disable it, or even just delete it with remove. And it's really easy to use. Though you really need to make sure you know what you're doing and anything you're opening up is secured for the internet. All right, well that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.